Hi, this is Johnny R with the Hot Toys Sideshow Review. And today I am reviewing the Iron Man 2 uh, Mark VI Armor from Marvel Selects, uh, manufactured by Diamond Select Toys. I actually wasn't even, uh, I didn't even know that these were being produced, um, to tell you the truth. I've just really been waiting for my Hot Toys guys, but that's probably going to be like a five month wait still. So, uh, I have been looking around, but not really seriously, because I didn't think there was any good figures out. And, um, I was actually in a few comic stores today, um, just doing some work for the Make-A-Wish Foundation, um, trying to get comic books from them, um, to give out, because I'm going to be Spider-Man at a couple of their camps in, uh, June and July with the suit I have. So I was donating my time, and I got them to donate some comics if I did some uh, promotional work for them. So that was pretty good. But while I was there, I was walking out and I noticed uh, this Marvel Selects figure of the Mark VI armor. And it, it caught my eye because uh, it comes with the Hall of Armor display base, which I hope all the new Hot Toys come with. And, uh, it was a pretty good repre representation of the armor. If it lit up, it would have been perfect. But, they do give you an extra set of hands. So, you've got closed fist hands. Two of those. And, you've got the open palm hands. Like this. And, they just pop off just like the Hot Toys ones do. Um, he's got some movement to him. His, uh, arms, you know, go down. Let me come down for you. You know, they can go down flat against his body. His head rotates 360 degrees. Um, at his torso, he does bend over a little bit. His legs, I'm not a huge fan of, but I found this with most of the figures, um, especially with the Captain America, the new Bucky one. Let me put the camera down in a second, you can see what I'm talking about. But when you go to, like, lift the leg up, it doesn't have to go out like this, and it can't do a, a regular straight up stance. Which is, uh, which I thought was pretty poor because, like, the Bucky, um, Captain America figure, it, it was supposed to be done as the cover of, I think, issue 34, and his leg was supposed to be on top of, like, the gargoyle, and you can't do the pose, so I thought that was pretty cheesy. Uh, another cool thing about this figure is they kind of went the Hot Toys route. And the shoulders pop up and pop off. But they also have their version of the, like, air brakes. So that was a pretty neat feature. And the other one that caught me by surprise, let me stick them back on here. So let me give you a look. Um, actually, when you see him in the package, um, it's actually Tony Stark's face, because, let me show you, one sec, the mask pops off, and, uh, you know, it's not Robert Downey Jr., um, it's more of the Tony Stark they see in the comics, um, but, you know, we're spoiled with Hot Toys, so, it's not bad. It comes with two little tabs, and you can stick those on top of his head. If I can do it. And so it looks like he has his 
base plate open. So that was, uh, I thought that was pretty cool. I, was, I saw that and that's kind of what um, got my attention to the figure because I could tell that he was going to be somewhat detailed. Let me get a shoulder piece back on here. So I figured he'd be a little pretty detailed with that feature and you just pop those off to take it off. And then there's two pins, I don't know if you can see them, right on in his hairline so you can't really notice them. And you stick those back in. And uh, a little better. There you go. You got Iron Man fully armored up. So he can do some, uh, you can get him posed pretty much most ways that you would want him to. The display is really cool. I like the display. Um, I guess each figure has really its own color um, armor stand. I'll show you what I mean uh, by the package. This is basically the package that came in. Iron Man 2 Mark 6 armor. Special collector's action figure with highly detailed base. And they give you a picture of Iron Man. And then on the back, they show you uh, basically him on his stand. And then they show the two others. They show the Mark IV, which is uh, a Borders exclusive. I'll have to try to find that. And they have the War Machine. Um, so you can see that like the War Machine is kind of tan. This one is like a little darker gray. And then this one is a little... Um, uh, this one's a little silverish, I guess, and this one's a little darker gray. And then when you you see it in person, so I guess they're going to be a little bit different colored. Um, I don't see anywhere for them to connect into each other, uh, so they'll you'll just have to stand them side by side. But I'm definitely going to take a look at borders now, see if I pick up the Mark IV and try to hunt down the war machine because it seems to be very hard to find war machine figures the one thing I'm kind of bummed about on um, the figure um, is the eyes they show them black there and like black around the mouth and they're just golden here so I'm going to have to paint those but that was really the only uh, only problem. So if you're handy with a paintbrush, you can just take care of that for yourself. But I wanted to show you um, the Iron Man Mark VI from Marvel Select, produced by uh, Diamond Select Toys. And uh, hopefully I'll get the other ones to show you soon. So have a good day, and I'll see everybody next time. Bye.